Hello and welcome to a new window on this channel. I am Sabi from Code Revolution. Today I will show you how to get a free hosting account for one year from Google because they have a promotion and they will give you for one entire year a free VPS hosting where you can deploy your projects and uh, use their services for one year entirely for free. So to get started, click on the link from this video's description and you will get to this console. If you don't have already a project created, click New Project and give it a name and simply click Create. This will create a new project for you. You will use this project to create your hosting account. You can create a new Google account for this to work or you can use your existing account. Both ways are okay. Now you should select your new project here in the project selector. And you will see up here your free tar trial is awaiting. Click activate. Agree and continue. And here you will have to fill in some details about you and also add a payment method. Please uh, note that the payment will, the card will not be charged unless you uh, want it to be charged after one year. So it will not be automatically charged after one year. This is what I wanted to say. Only if you select that you want to continue to use their services, then they will charge your card. Okay, so I will fill in these details. I will pause this video because these are sensitive information. I will fill in all these details, click start my trial and I resume this video. I'll be back soon. Okay, so I'm back. I clicked finish and set up my account and this is my welcome screen. Got it. And now we can go to compute engine. This is where the magic happens. So click on the compute engine. Now you have to wait a bit until uh, the setup is finishing and the compute engine is getting ready. This should not take very long. Let's have a bit of patience here. You will see that setting up WordPress on Compute Engine is extremely easy. So you will get it in no time. The setup only takes a bit. You can skip ahead if you wish, but we have to wait this out. Until then, let's check around here. We will use the VM instances. VM is for virtual machines. So these are some virtual servers that Google uh, gives to you and you will have your own virtual server which will run your website. This is really really cool because some hostings don't offer this uh, feature to you because uh, especially shared hostings don't allow you to access the server's backend. And here on Google uh, Cloud, you will be able to access the server using SSH. So it is a really, really cool feature because you will uh, know what runs exactly on your server and you will know how to configure it. Okay, so... Um, this process takes a bit long now. Usually it did not take quite this long because I set up many web machines until now, but now I'm not sure why this takes so long. Let's wait this out, I assume. Okay, this... Oh, it's ready already. Okay, so now let's start don't click anything here go directly to marketplace this is where they will offer you uh, products that will run on servers here you can type wordpress 
and depending on what configuration you wish, you wish to get a multi-site WordPress and there are many many WordPress uh, variations. If you want a plain WordPress like this case, simply click on the Word, simple WordPress. So search for simple WordPress, click on it and click launch on compute engine. Now it is loading, give it a deployment name, a zone, select a zone where you are located or where you wish to locate the server. Machine type, here you can select how much resources you want to allocate for your new virtual machine. Uh, if you give the virtual machine more CPUs, then the costs for running it will be higher. Here you will have an estimate of how much it will cost per month. It, you can also select small and you will see that its costs will be low as, as low as $14 per month. Okay, so for this example, let's select one virtual CPU and for $24 per month, we will have this administrator email address. We have also PHP my admin, standard boot disk, size of 10 uh, gigabytes, networking default, ephemeral. This is okay. I will show you also in this video how to get a static uh, IP address for the virtual machine allow HTTP traffic, allow HTTPS traffic, check this also, and click simply deploy after you accepted the uh, terms of service normally. Click deploy. Now you will see that WordPress will be starting to deploy on your new virtual machine. So this also takes one minute. We should also wait this out. And normally you can skip ahead. So now WordPress is installing and uh, starting up on your new virtual machine. So before I will access the new virtual machine, I will show you how to give it a new IP address that is static. And the issue with the current IP address is that it is not static and it will change over time. So if you wish to use your WordPress install and wish to access it by its IP address, you have to give it a static IP address. If you use the current ephemeral IP address, then it will change constantly. Also, you can assign a domain name to this. If you assign a domain name, this will not be an issue. But now let's assume that you don't have a domain name that you wish to assign to this, but we'll access this by its IP address. So to uh, make this uh, with a static IP address, go to Compute Engine, VM Instances, select the VM instance that you just created and installed WordPress for it. Click on it. Here you should click edit and go to network interfaces. Click the edit button and go to external IP. This is what is in, what interests us and in create new. Give it a name. and click standard and reserve. This will reserve a new static IP for your new virtual machine. Okay, so we got it, this is it. This is our new external IP. Now we can go back And here are our new configurations.
Okay. Now we can start uh, by accessing the WordPress install we just created. We should go back and check the IP that was created or you can also see it here external IP this is it so paste it here and it will be opened up and you will see if you search for WordPress admin email this is the login email you should use and admin password this is your password login and welcome to your new WordPress installation so this is the main part of the config if you want to edit your server configuration or install additional uh, programs to it that the WordPress will be able to access click here on SSH this will open a new SSH connection to your server and here you will be able to give your uh, server direct commands so it is now connecting and it will be soon available for you we should also wait this out and here it is so if we go back you will see that this is your server okay. so this is all i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel until next time have a great day bye bye